everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Just coming back from a short vacation and anxious to get painting again. Today I have a 12 by 16 inch canvas and I have put down my base coat and that pretty color there is Amsterdam Naples Yellow Red. And let's go over the balance of my paints today. I'm using Master's Touch Crimson. Liquitex Basics Silver. Combination of Amsterdam's Payne's Gray and Prussian Blue. The paint that I make up myself called Mysterious and that is four different paints combination of four paints to make that color. Amsterdam grayish blue, one of my favorite colors. The last one is Amsterdam's yellow medium. All my paints today are mixed seven parts the mix with one part paint. And I think I may have just added a little bit of water. Um, I've had these paints for a while. No silicone added today. And I may be doing a swipe over the top of this. What I'm going to do is a little shovel pour. Here's my little shovel. Just going to fill that with paint and then drag it along the painting. And then I may do um, a swipe over the top of it to get some cells with a cell activator. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be using the Amsterdam Titanium White. Or I have a combination again of the Amsterdam... Uh, Prussian blue and Payne's gray here. I'm not sure if I'm going to go uh, light or dark on that yet. And those two swipe colors are mixed um, three parts Australian, Australian Floetrol to one part paint. So let's just get started filling my little shovel here. Get all my paints opened up first. Hope everybody's having a great day, start of a new week. I had a very nice uh, vacation with family. Good to get away, see family. So let's just get started here with uh, filling the shovel. I have not done one of these in a long, long time. Thought it would just be fun to try this again. My base coat is not very, real, real thick here today. Here's some of that grayish blue. And last, I'll put some of that mysterious. If I have to fill this shovel a few times, that's fine. I think I will add some more of the crimson on the top here. And let's just get started. And all I do is I just drag. First, I'll bring my paint down to the edge of the shovel. Then I just drag my shovel along the canvas. And I think I will fill it again, just to give it a little more color here. Let's start at this end this time. Bring my paint back down, mix it up a little bit.
Okay. And I will give that just a quick little torch here. Really do like the combination of these colors. And I think I will start out with the, um, I'm gonna start out with the white cell activator here. And I, what I'm doing is I'm just putting it on the back of my little palette knife here. And I'm just gonna try a schmear. Something like that. Let's see if we get any cell action with this. There is some coming up. And I'll try the dark too. See which one I like better. This is all experiment. The dark does seem to be bringing up more cells here. Try that again. And I think one more time, then I'm going to try some tipping, too. Okay, I'm going to try some tipping now. See if I can move some of the paint. And I'm trying to pull out some of these cells to get some interest in the painting. And I do like that corner quite a bit. And I think I'm going to do a little bit more smearing down in this area before I do more tilting. Let's turn it this way so you can see the tilting going on. Again, just trying to pull out some of these cells. My paint is moving just pretty slow here. That's okay. Tipping it down to this corner here. And I really do like that. That looks really nice. I'm going to tip it back.
Okay, I'm going to take a look at it here. See what areas I do and I don't like. And I think what I'd like to have is a little bit more of this red up in this area. So I think what I'll do is I'll just take my skewer and see if I can add some of that color up in this area just a little bit. Just for a little more interest here. I think I'll just add a little bit more here too. Just add a few lines. It's always fun to play with your painting a little bit. Do a little bit more tipping here. Just pulling out some more of those paints and those cells. That pretty lacing. And bring it back. Okay, really pretty happy with this painting. You can see this white, the white now coming through from that white swipe color, the titanium white. Very pretty. I think I will give it a torch and then bring you down for a close up. You can tell me what you think. Okay, everybody, here we are for our close-up, and I'll try and show you the whole painting here as much as I can. And this is the upper left-hand corner. I'm very pleased with how this painting turned out. The colors played so well together. I'm just going down the left-hand side here. You can see the pretty cells and the lacing that I got. That crimson color is really, really pretty. And here is the lower left hand corner. I'll take you over the whole painting. Very interesting area here. Some of those colors stayed so very bright and vibrant. And I like how these colors played together too. I'll take you all the way over here to the right hand corner. Lots of negative space, but that's really what I did want here.
like how the blues played together too. Really interesting in here. It's probably one of my favorite spots of the whole painting is right there. Here's the lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think of this video. I want to thank you for spending time with me here today. Consider subscribing if you haven't. That would help my channel grow. And until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.